lighting is pretty dang good. We just put up curtains in this room, so it's it looks homey in there. Um, today is another video diary. I have filmed a couple of these um, in the past that I forgot to post, and I feel like it just doesn't mean the same if I don't post them when it's real time, but maybe that's just a me thing. But um, I've just been enjoying these videos talking about things I'm going through in my 20s because that's like most of us going through stuff in our 20s and I think it's just a really hard time to go through alone and so I just make these kind of for me to just talk about things and process but also for people to listen um, and feel heard or seen or whatever. Um, sorry about the train. Also today's the first day of like fall weather and I love it but also it's cold in my house because it's too warm still to turn on the heat but it's too cold to have the ac on so i'm feeling a little chilly um but anyways also a nail broke off don't look um today i want to talk about therapy because therapy has been something i've been thinking about for a long time and it's something that's on my mind today so i just want to talk about it because i do not want to go to therapy I just, I don't. I, <laughs> for a little like backstory though too, as a child, my parents were divorced. And so I would be essentially forced to go to therapy to like talk about my feelings so that they could decide if I was doing okay or if I was allowed to be with this parent or that parent. Like they would try to evaluate me as a child to find out how my at home life was. Um, <clears throat> and then as a teenager, I literally went to therapy. I can't remember if my mom wanted me to go or if I chose to go, but I remember being so mad that I had to be there and like, I don't know. I literally just sat and stared and gave this therapist like one word answers the whole time. No, I guess so. I literally like, I don't know why I was so, I think maybe cause it was the court making me go, uh, between my parents, but I don't, I don't even remember. Um, got a little coffee. And so I just had like a bad taste in my mouth when it came to going to therapy. And then there's also the side of it. It's like, it seems like everyone goes to therapy, but all I hear from everyone that goes to therapy it seems like, and like, don't come at me for this, but this is just my honest feelings. I feel like people go to therapy and for some people, this is what they want, but this is not what I want. And they go and they talk and they talk and they talk about their problems and they dig up all of this stuff. And it seems like these people are for like six years working through their childhood or for years and years and years, like, are sad and crying at therapy and like constantly working through and processing. Everyone's always processing everything. And don't get me wrong, I have had a really, like, I've gone through a lot. Um, my low battery just came out. I've gone through a lot in my childhood. Like there's, it's no lie. Like I'm not sitting here with a perfect childhood being like, these people need to stop crying at therapy. Um, but also I feel like I don't want to dwell on things that happened. I want to talk about them and figure out why they happened and not even why they happened, but how I can move on from it. I don't want to sit here rehashing it if I don't have to. And I feel like sometimes people go to therapy because they just want to talk about the past and relive it over and over and like dwell on it. But I really just don't want to dwell on my past, um, which has been a big reason why. I haven't gone to therapy is because I am trying to move on from my past, not sit here and talk about it once a week. So that's kind of like my feelings with not wanting to go. Um, however, I'm getting to this point in my life where I'm having like these angry feelings come up enough or this overreaction to things or emotions triggered by things that I know they shouldn't be. Um, and those are the moments where it's happening enough that I'm like, you know, that's something that probably came from something in my childhood. 
and now I need to go work this out and figure out where it came from and how to solve it because at the end of the day like I think a lot of things you just can grow out of and you can learn through yourself but also some things you do need to go talk to like a professional about like what did this wh why did this happen where did this come from I'm getting like raspy my nose is running too um I love chilly weather but chilly weather does not love me so I also on top of all that know that I have something going on um I've always been ADD but possibly like ADHD like I want to get a diagnosis because I struggle really bad with anxiety and depression as well and there's always that game of like is it because of ADHD is it because of anxiety and depression do they cause each other is one causing the other is there something completely different going on um and like this is maybe like a whole separate conversation but like do I need to be on meds for this because there's some things that like I am constantly going and here my brain is constantly running and I do think that there could possibly be help whether it's like hormonal imbalances or medication or whatever it is um that could really make my quality of life better because I feel like sometimes I'm just fighting with myself and so that's another good reason to go to therapy is to find out, is there something that could be helping me right now? Um, I just don't want to go to a therapist that's going to sit there and like try to just talk about my junk forever and ever and ever. Like I want to get through it and figure out why I am the way I am now so I can move forward um, with, hi, come here, come here. And she's scratching. Come here, Alexa. That's a good girl. She's shedding right now. So she's like shedding her undercoat. So she's a bit itchy. I'm a bit scratchy. Like I'm a bit scratchy. This is my therapy over here. She's a good girl. Yeah. Um, I just want to move forward with life and, and good things and like letting go of the past and figure out how to let go of it and not how to further dwell on it. Um, because I think when you've truly gone through trauma, you don't have the choice to, oh, do I want to dwell on this? Like, it follows you whether you like it or not. You're going to dwell on it. My dog just farted as she walked away. You're going to dwell on it whether you like it or not. Because um, that's just kind of how trauma works. But it's like figuring out what to do with that okay, like I have this emotional response, where does that come from? That's something I don't think you can get without therapy. Um, so this isn't like a super long topic. I just kind of wanted to talk about that. Um, I think I am going to look into finding a therapist, but I don't know the best route to go with like finding a therapist that won't just want to sit there and dwell on things with me, you know, that will actually help me work through it. Also, I think back with the theme of like life in your 20s and constantly trying to figure it out, sometimes it can just be good to have someone to talk to that's not having to constantly dump all your crap on like your significant other or your best friend. Like, yes, always have the people in your lives that are okay with you venting if you need to, but sometimes it's good to have someone that is level-headed, not uh, related to you able to say like oh I think that's a good idea or like where did that thought come from that seems negative you know someone to kind of keep you level so I think I'm needing that as someone who's gonna be 22 soon I'm currently in the thick of figuring out life what is life for me what does it look like um and how can I get through it in a healthy way um especially being married um how am I reflecting onto my spouse and my trauma? How's it coming out? Because however I'm doing that to my spouse, even more so I'm probably going to do that to our children. Um, and I don't want to raise children that are, that have an unhealthy relationship with me. I want to be a good mom. And so I think I have to figure out some of these emotions I'm dealing with. Um, so 
for a conversation today. Let me know in the comments, what's your experience with therapy? What do you think? Do you maybe want to go to therapy too and you never have? Or you have and you hated it? Or why did you hate it? Give me all the details because I would love to hear your experiences and talk with you. Um, because I just think community is so important in your 20s. And so thanks for listening to my ramble. Um, to my little... To my little video diary. Um, today is September 24th. It's my middle school best friend's birthday. I should text her. Anyway. <laughs> um, today is September 24th, 2024. Almost said 2024. And it is sometime in the afternoon. Probably like 4 o'clock. And it's the first chilly day. Okay, see ya.